Hello, guys. Today I will read this book. It's called "The Princess in Black and the Perfect Princess Party." So let's get started. Chapter Eight. Princess Magnolia was not alone in the broom closet. Who's there? Asked Princess Magnolia. It's me, Princess Sneezeword. Princess Magnolia squints. All she saw were some broom. The broom moved. Wow, Princess Sneezeword. She says you blended it in with the broom. You're really good at hiding. So are you? Asked Princess Sneezeword. I've been in this closet for an hour. I saw your dress. I didn't think you're you were in it. The closet door opened. I found you, the Princess Trollit. You too are good hider. I checked this closet three times. That is serious," said Princess Sneezeword. Chapter nine. Shall we do present now?" asked Princess Mary. "We really should," said Miss. Said Princess Erpora. "Present to make a party. Particularly, particularly perfect." Oh goody," said Princess Magnolia. There was a ringing sound. What is that noise?" asked Princess. "Oh child, it's an alarm again," said Princess Magnolia. She sighed. "Um, it's time for the race." Princess. Princesses went outside. The princess, the princesses, mount their mounts. Ready, set, go! Princess Magnolia and her un- unicorn pimple pants won the first race. Princess Nizort and her pig, Sir Hogwell, came in last. There were the second race. Princess Blue Bear and her Pegasus Jellybug won. Princess Nizort and Sir Hogwell came in last. There was a third race. Princess Zina and her Sang Santa Bear won. There was a fourth race. Princess Apple Blast Blue's room and her antelope at one. Princess Nizort was always last. Sir Hogwell did not believe in races. Sir Hogwell. Did not believe in speed. Snug Howells believed in dinner, dessert, and a good night's sleep. From the back, Princess Nesworth could see all the princesses. She could see all the mounts, but she could now no longer see Princess Magnolia and Frimplepants. They were the f- fifth race. That time, Princess Magnolia came in last. She rode up beside, behind Princess Nizort. Her hair was messy. Her glass slipper was on the wrong foot. Th- that is curious," said Princess Nizort. Chapter ten. Now it's it is time for present," asked Princess Apple Black Blossom. I hope so," said Princess Magnolia. "Because present make the party." The ringing noisy in interrupted her. Another alarm? asked Princess Sneezer. "Yes," said P- 
Princess Magnolia frowned. It's time to go the May maze. We can go open present after. After I promise that the princesses enter the garden maze. Princess Nizrod got got lost. She thought he, she would be the last one out. Eventually, she found the exit. Eleven princesses were waiting, but one more was still in the maze. Finally, Princess Magnolia im imerged. Her hair was even messier. Her dress was inside out. That is remarkably curious," said Princess Nizward. Chapter Eleven. Now it is time for present," asked Princess Apra. Um," said Princess Magnolia. She held her breath. She listened. She looked at her ring. No ring. Yes, she says. It really is time for presents. The princesses went back to the towers. They sat on sofas. Princess Hayes' clothes handed Princess Magnolia the first gift. It felt happy and round. Could it be a racing helmet, a goldfish bowl, the crystal bowl? Princess Magnolia couldn't wait to see. Then something happened. Something happened. Something that made Princess Magnolia want to cry. Her glitter stone ring rang. It was really, really time for present. It was a really, really bad time for a monster attack. Does that alarm mean it's time for present? Asked Princess Honeystalled. Princess Magnolia whispered, whispered. Please stay here, she says. I'll be right back. I promise. Chapter Twelve. Princess Magnolia left her tower room. She snuck into the bloom closet again. She changed her clothes again. She went down down the chat. She high jumped the castle wall. Blackie was waiting. She landed on his back. They rode through the forest. They galloped into the goat pasture again. Yet another monster was terror terrorizing the goat. The pink monster this time. Roar! It says, "Eat goat." No," said the princess in black. "Not no eating goat. I don't. I don't want to fight any more monster today. I have had had it. It's my birthday, and I'm and it's time for present. Do you hear me? I said, it's time for for present." Chapter Thirteen. The Pink Monster wins. Its ears rang. Princess in Black yelled quite loudly. The Pink Monster was questioning in decision to leave Monsterland. Sure, Monsterland has no gods, but it also has no yelling princesses. Now things were awkward. It seems today was a princess in black birthday. She she was expanding present, and the thing monster hadn't bought the thing. It checked it pocket. Oh goody stone! 
pink stone it has found in the cave. There were twelve of them. They would have to. The pink monster held out the stone. The pink monster cleared it the throat. Happy birthday! It rolled pearl, pearly. Chapter fourteen. The twelve princesses wait in the tower rooms. Princess Magnolia was still gone. It has been a long time. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek again," said Princess Zina. They searched the castle. Now, Princess Magnolia. Maybe she is in the bloom room closet. That the princess Nizort. She was in there last time. They went into the bloom closet. Princess Sneeze were rich from the door handle. Just then, Princess Magnolia came out. Her her hair was extremely messy. Her dress was inside and inside out and backward. One of her hair slipper was missing. Glass slipper was missing. Princess Magnolia, you keep. Disappearing," said Princess Nizort. "Every time it's time for present, I do," said Princess Magnolia. "Yes, you do," said Princess Nizort. "Don't you want present? Where do where do you keep going?" Princess Magnolia looked down. Her hand was full of stone. She held them up to get present for you," she says. "After all, Princess Magnolia. After presents make a party, perfectly present, perfect." She handed out the stone. There was one of for each princess. They were clear and pink and very pretty. They're perfect," said Princess Nizort. "Absolutely perfect." It was right. A comp, the company, the games, the gifts. It was the most perfect party Princess Magnolia has ever had. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.